What do you all want to be when you grow up? It's a question I got asked way too often back then. Adina! Come on! Let's play doctor and patient! <sighs> again, Chessa? Yes, again! It's fun! Come on! Ugh, fine. I don't understand why we can't just play hopscotch like everyone else. That's boring! All you have to do is jump all over the place and possibly get your feet all covered up in crayon. Doctor and patient is so much more fun! What about this? You play the doctor this time, and I be the sick patient. <sighs> sure. Come on now, don't be so down, Dina. It'll be fun, I promise. Okay, then. <laughs> Yay! Here's your kit, and let me just get into character. <laughs> Bleh. Dr. Adina. Yes? I am incredibly ill. And I <coughs> need your help. <coughs> How can I help? You're supposed to do a quick checkup, Dina. That's the point of this entire game. Fine. You could, could at, at least, least pretend, pretend you're, you're interested. interested. Okay, so first, let me check your heartbeat. Huh? Whoa, this actually works? Uh, yeah. Did you think it was fake or something? Yeah, but this is actually so cool! So, I can actually listen to heartbeats of this thing? Yep. Whoa, that's so cool! What about all these other tools? They're all real, Adina. Why do you think I love this game so much? Uh, because it includes medical stuff? No! I mean, that's half true, but also because everything we're using is real! Nothing here is fake and I think that's super cool! I feel like I'm already an actual you doctor. You can be the doctor and I'll be the sick patient. You're way more passionate about this than I am. But now I'm more interested in knowing that everything here actually works. No, no. If you're interested too, I want you to figure out everything by yourself. Just give it a try. Really? Really. Okay then, yay! I can't believe it took you this long to realize. Well, you never told me anything works. Why would you think I'm so interested if nothing works? Again, because it's about medical stuff. That isn't my only reason for everything I like. Yes, it is. Adina, do you want to hang out this weekend? Sorry, Chessa, but I have a lot of student council stuff to do this weekend. First, there's that meeting on Saturday and that, that field trip on Sunday again. And then, yeah, we're back at school. stuff. Why not just leave? I can't, Chessa. It'll look out of my degree as a future lawyer. Besides, it includes debates and stuff. And next year, I'll plan to run up for student council president, and that will look really good as well. You can think about degrees and all that in high school. No need to think about that now. Just leave. You don't get it, Chess. This is a really big opportunity for me. And not only that, I also enjoy working with my fellow members in it. It's really fun. Uh, you work too much, Dina. Well then, let's try next weekend? Or is there still student council stuff? We'll see. Okay then. See you on Monday, Dina. Bye, Chess. <laughs> Vote for Chessa, everybody! Vote for Chessa! What? Vote for Chessa, everybody! Vote for Chessa, everyone! Chessa? What are you doing? Huh? Oh, Adina, hi! Just letting everyone know to vote for me to be this year's student council president. Wait, but Chessa, I am running for student council president with Veronica as my vice. You said you were going to put up posters for me the other day. You know how hard I've been wanting this since middle school. True. But I heard that becoming student council president will look good on my degree. And you know how much I want to be a doctor. I get straight A's, sure. But I need something to top that. 
So? You've never even been part of the student council, never knew anything about it, never even met any of the members, and it's all about debate and managing! This stuff, I need to be a lawyer. It has nothing to do with medicine, Jessa. Heck, you don't even have a vice, which is a requirement to run up! And Jazzy you said you are already getting straight A's, and I'm still struggling in some of my classes. You have it all already. You don't need I more. I... Don't. Just don't. Just back out, Jessa. I need this way more than you. The hurricane wasn't actually as harmful. Despite some broken roofs and a various amount of trees blown away, no one got hurt. And so, it was the day to meet up at the college's campus for the competition. Remember that we have a meeting today at the campus at 10 o'clock, partner. Got it. Okay. Adina, I'll be home by 9 tonight, alright? Yes, mom. Good luck for your competition. Thanks, mom. Mrs. Hart? No, no, please, no. Oh my gosh! Is that Adina? No thanks! She's still signaling for me to go over there. I... <sighs> Thank you for the ride, Mrs. Hart, but seriously, I can walk. Mom, just let her walk. No, Chessa. Are you crazy? She's your friend. Uh, Please, Athena. I insist. I... <sighs> Alright then. Thank you, Mrs. Hart. Anytime, Athena. And here I thought you got your driver's license, Chessa. Yeah, I did. But Chelsea just got back home from school, and my mom insisted for her to drive me since we finally got natural weather for once. Hi, Adina. Hi there, Chels. Wow, it's been so long since I've seen you. You're 13 now, right? Yeah. <laughs> it has been a long time. You have really pretty hair, Adina. It's smoother than my sister's. What? Chessa, do not raise your voice at your sister. <laughs> Don't say that, Chels. That hurts your sister's feelings. Just say, your hair is smooth. Don't compare, okay? But... Tressa makes fun of your hair all the time at home. Shut up, you little brat. As she likes to say, her hair is dry as sand, and it's as much of a mess as Chelsea's tar room. Really now? Tressa, is that true? No! Chelsea is lying! I would never say that about my best friend. Yes, you would- Shut! Hmm. Okay then. Best friend, she says. Finally. Have fun, you two. Thank you, Mrs. Hart. Yeah, bye. Aruna, Chelsea told her how I talk badly about her hair right in front of her face. Can you believe that, brat? Yeah, because unlike you, she actually has the ability to be honest. I... Oh, hey, Athena. Hey, so. You look pretty fresh. Something's different. 
Thanks. Probably it's just my hair being down. I'm usually in a bun, aren't I? Oh, yeah, it is your hair. No wonder. Huh? Since, Since when did Adina have friends? friends? I thought you said out. Adina was Thanks. friendless, Shaza. That... Or is that her lover? Huh? She doesn't have either, do Rumi. Must be some random boy she found on Zoom and asked to be her partner. Besides, she's way too ugly and nosy to have a boyfriend in the first place. So, <laughs> hello. Sure. Is that the Chessa you were talking about? What? I... Oh... <laughs> yeah, it is. Hey, don't be sad. Most people get nowhere in their lives. Trust me. If you say so, let's get going. The meeting's on 4-2. Adina and So, you two are here quite early. A bit too early? The meeting starts in an hour. Are you sure you're okay with waiting this long? You're free to explore the campus first. Better early than late. <laughs> Alright then, if you guys say so. Do you need anything to eat? I've got some apple juice and snacks. I already ate, but thank you for the offer, Professor. Suit yourself. I'll take the apple juice. Alright, here you go. Those are some pretty detailed notes, Adina. Good job. Thank you, Professor. And where are your notes, so? Give me a moment, Professor. I'm trying to finish my apple juice here. Really? Because it sounds like you're drinking air. <laughs> oh, no wonder I didn't taste anything. Yeah. Now pull out your notes. Yep, will do. Hmm. Your notes could be more organized. But, good enough. You're being too strict on them, don't you think? It's better than being too relaxed on them, Nora. I guess you're right. Alright, welcome students to this year's Redview Medical Writing Competition. I will now begin doing an attendance check. Please say present when your name is mentioned. Ahem. <laughs> Just a heart? Present, Professor Nora. Alright. Partner with Arun Ali? Present. Okay. Adina Vu and Sol Kane? Present, Professor. Present. Alright, next is... Okay, everyone's here today. All right now, allow me to inform you all of more on this competition. As you may already know, Redview's medical article competition is a partner competition that includes making an article on the following topics, neuroanatomy and forensic medicine. After writing said article, you are going to be presenting that article in front of all of Redview's students and professors, along with some professional doctors coming from different countries that will be judging your work. The two winners of this competition will be awarded a job offer at the best hospital in Tokyo, Japan. I really need this. I really need this. I just want to help you like you helped me. I really want to help you, Chessa. The rules of this competition are... 1. No discussing with any other teams regarding your article. Only discuss with your members and if you really need to, ask one of your professors. 2. Strictly no plagiarism involved in your article. You are allowed to do research, but strictly no plagiarism. You are all college students, so you should know better. Third, have a balanced amount of work put into the article. I expect the two of you to work a balanced amount. No one does more and no one does less. Make it perfectly collaborative. That is all. Should be simple enough for all of you. The deadline for writing your article is September 4th. You have two months. Do your best. And good luck to each and every one of you. Good luck, Redview students! Here are the notes I took. I think we should make around 14 sections of our article. Seven will be written by you and the rest will be written by me. 
with each of us guiding each other through it so our writing can align with each other. First, we need to do some brief research and analysis of our article. I'll make the document and share it to your email. Which topic would you like to talk about? Neuroanatomy or forensic medicine? Neuroanatomy. I understand the subject better than forensic medicine, if I'm being honest. Okay, I've sent the document to your email. Let's try working on this now. Have you brought your laptop? Of course. Okay, let's begin. <clears throat> As much as I like motivated students, another meeting is being held here in 10 minutes. So please leave, you two. Oh, right, right. Uh, sorry, Professor. It's perfectly fine, Athena. Thank you for coming, you two. Thank you as well, Professor. Have a good day. Have a nice day, Professor. Have a nice one to you. Huh? Oh, bye, you two. Bye, bye Professor, Professor Nora. Nora. <sighs> now, where do we study? We could use the library. That's actually a good idea. Nice thinking so. Thanks. Wait, does that mean I usually don't have good ideas? Huh? What? No, that isn't what I meant. I'm just not used to people actually giving good ideas is all. Are you sure? Well, yes, very sure. That a little... Shouldn't we start planning our article? Huh? Oh, right, sorry. I think we should have... 20 sections in our article, uh, in total. Isn't that a bit much? Bigger is better, my friend. It's fine, I can do most of the article, but I'll guide you through your parts. I'll have to use your account on some parts so it looks like we both equally did it, even though it was mostly me. Eh, whatever. I can at least be the one doing most of the talking during the speech. Trust me, we're going to crush this competition. It's you and me against the world. Right. <laughs> of course, Chesson. Let's go, Rumi. I know a good place where we can study. Whoa! Whoa! Chesson, don't go so fast! Want to go to the park after this and have that therapy session together? <laughs> sure, Athena. I smile at him and then get back to work. Chelsea, what are you doing? We're done with our trip. Let's go get ice cream. You promise. Shh. I'm trying to see what's up with this guy Athena's spending her time with. They're discussing the article, as you said. Let's go. Hey, Aruna, let me go. Hey! Oh, stop acting like a middle school student. We're leaving. Ugh. That friend of hers won't last long. I'll make sure of it. So? You've never even been part of the student council, never knew anything about it, never even met any of the members, and it's all about the and managing the stuff I need to be a lawyer it has nothing to do with medicine Chessa you don't need this at all even if you do run up no one will vote for you back out right now Chessa I need this more than you I just don't understand why Adina would say any of that what I wanted was to run for student council president and Adina just lashed out at the idea I really don't understand what I did wrong principal Adams Adina is this true I I... Lost in your eyes, under your spell Oh, it's like we've always known it Even though it's new, I can already tell All oh, that this feeling is taking over 